All right, this might take a couple attempts, but it'll be pretty funny. All right, this is a key at the randomizer speed run, for those of you wondering. I think it was the right one, right? Oh shit. Oh my god, it was the left. Well, I'll save more time next. Wait, these are different starters, what? Oh my god, this is the wrong one. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> Try again. No, there's no Mewtwo. There's a pretty cool strat though for the early game main. The mains this one are pretty neat. We use three different Pokemon. Yeah, this is Set Seed, Sire. <laughs> it's gonna be really fast though. I wanna see if I can get this in under an hour. Cause I think I can. I think it's the middle one, but I don't remember. Okay, it's the right one. That is the worst case scenario. What was it? Okay, yeah, we run from that. We basically need to get encounters that aren't Magnetons. God damn it, dude. I have to go for this. Could be worse. Okay, nice crit, let's go. Okay, need one more encounter. That'll do. Please, <laughs> get that one. We full odds this seed. We got this as a, like, full odd seed earlier. We need one more KO. Didn't quite get there. Cool, that'll do. This has dig? That's worth. I still need one KO. I didn't know this had dig. That's sick. Saves money. We don't have to grind money anymore. Dude, this is here? Okay, well maybe we just run this then. And we can just do rock smash skip. I'm learning rock smash at seven, by the way. This might be better than going out of my way for Hitmon now. I'm not actually sure how this gym's gonna go with the pincer. The strat was you get Rock Smash, and you use Rock Smash to get a Hitmonchan. But I can't do that, obviously, now. Like, it's faster just go, because I'm already level 9. Oh, he's punched from there. Probably kill. I need to save my, uh, body slams. I have one per poke. I'll call that grind, I guess. Normally, the grind and the main split would be getting the Hitmon. Do I think I two hit this with Ice Punch? Probably not, right? God, pincer sucks. I have leech life, I should have used that. Uh... I'm just gonna reset. All right, we have a better route now. All right, well this changes my whole strat, knowing that there's a blissey on that route. Yeah, the problem with this route is the way they had it set up, you need hit level uh, seven for rock smash, and there's just no good way to farm encounters. You get repels for the next route, but you have to deal with all the steel types on this route, because the two commons are Fortress and Magneton, and Rhydon. <laughs> Rhydon at least dies to Ice Punch for like the XP route. But... Why do you set seed random? Because it's really funny. And this is a really like broken seed, so it's funny to get for like a really good time on it. If we're gonna do the pincer strat, I need the wild blissey. It's like actually kind of a requirement. Ooh, I thought she was a trainer for some reason. Green. I right, need one blissey. This is so worth killing. Jump off gives a lot of XP. And I, I feel like ice punch is okay here. At least a kill that I crit, yeah. Okay, I can just, I can do the hitmon strat with this. Cause I, I do hit level seven off that. And this is probably just as fast. One more chance. Really? Okay, at least that was first ball. I think the like the world record of this, like if you wanted to like super optimize it, you would just get like a blissey or two blissies on your way to Faulkner's Town, and you would run the pincer. I think that'd be optimal. Maybe there's something more runnable. I'm not actually sure. It also might be faster to get Dig. Like, Dig might be pretty good. We're actually not beating Faulkner because he gives us something. We're, ha we're beating Faulkner just because you have to. It's kind of funny. We don't get the Squirt Bottle, so we can't do Faulkner Skip. Oh, I forgot. I had to use the rope, so I actually have to shop here. Yeah, if you have to use the rope because you have to go to the, like, later Rock Smash Rocks, you have to shop here instead of the Zalea. I wonder if it's faster to rope out of here, which is just kind of silly. This is always going to happen. The power bird makes it on the team. I wonder if rollout's strong enough for this fight. It may be. No, I don't think rollout K is execute. Execute's pretty physically bulky. It's more specially frail. 
Ooh, we got the bad Hitmon. It's rare. If you have a bad Hitmon, that Arcanine lives. You need a bad roll, too. This Word Turtle always lives. Of course, it gets the crit and para. Okay. At least we hit through. We're fine. That just loses a bit of time. Um, it's this one. Good start, good start. All right, 15, 20 in Decanto is not bad. All right, here we go. Make or break point of the run. Most likely we get three chances. Nice. Good catch luck this run. Come on. <laughs> Tampok. Okay, so there's two choices. I'm still not positive which one's faster. There's a Hydro Pump TM that's in Diglett's Cave. We could grab it, but I think it's faster to skip it. Because Surf isn't uh, that far off. We could get Surf rather easily. Gotta remember to go right instead of the normal move that I do there. If you hold down, uh, you hit the trainer. All right, this is the biggest problem with the run. This is where I think the Hydro Pump TM would help. Ah, unlucky. <laughs> if you get lucky with your hidden power, you can kill the Azumarill. <laughs> That's the only place you click it. It's really funny, though. <laughs> It'll happen on a run, and you'll save, like, two turns. All right, so we didn't get the god fight where you click hidden power and the Azumarill just dies. <laughs> it's just, like, such a sick outcome that can happen. And who knows, maybe it will eventually. Technically, the like world record for this would get Hidden Power Grass and it would save like three minutes. Cause if you get HP Grass, you can Oko the Amistar on um, on red. This is not the direction that you normally go in Lighthouse, but this is the direction that we get to take in this run. All right, this can kill with one kick. Nice, that's time save. Let's go, let's go. I think it's this one. Yeah, the weird part about this segment is needing to use both repels and super repels because we don't really get enough. Yeah, the disappearing trees I find really funny. We have to go this way because we can't repel on the route, unfortunately. And then a regular plus super needs to make it. I think it barely does. There's no point in me clicking the other tree. I, I already know what all the items are. I'm literally cheating. The other tree doesn't provide me anything useful for the run, so I can just skip everything. I was supposed to make it on that repel. Okay. I have to double super there then. I might still be okay. I have no clue how many repels I actually need. I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to buy more actually. It's fine, I can grab them the next time I get all of them. Oh, I'm actually repelled for the well, which is helpful. <laughs> you guys like my slowpoke well strat? I came back a little bit stronger. Uh, this is hidden power. Okay, it's either fire or ice. You want to know what your hidden power is, because it can actually be helpful. This is the best segment to figure that out. Alright, hidden power fire. I don't know how strong it is. It looks pretty strong on the Azumarill. Click it one other time, I think. Use double kick is a little bit faster of an animation when you can. Yeah, I'm not sure if this first run is going to sub hour, but the next attempt might. I figured it'd be kind of hard on my first attempt, just getting everything figured out. I think we only have five fights left in the run after this fight. I might be wrong. There's like 10. Right, we get the max repel here. That's partially how we get enough repel. So you guys may not believe it, but we're actually almost done. We don't have that much more to do after this gym. Like if we look at the splits, that's all we have left. You know, we may not even need an elixir in this run. We might do this run without elixirs or centers, which is hilarious to think about. I think it depends on your hidden power, though. But yeah, you get one free heal on the boat, and that's it. Like, your moves have to last you the whole run after the boat heal. But we do teach Thunderbolt after this fight. Oh, HP Fire was better there. Saves us Surf by HP Fire. Yeah, a lot of this run is just planning when to use hidden power, because you, you have to use a random hidden power and you have to kind of just make it work. 
I hope this kills. This might not. It's like double kicks and hidden powers. You have to like kind of just make work. I should still be repelled. I actually think I was supposed to teach over hidden power there, but it doesn't really matter. We don't really click anything other than bolt beam and surf anymore. Yeah, you have plenty of time on the repel. Okay. I think you can beat the spinner here. Okay, you can. This spinner's like a giant pain. Like, you have to dodge him. It's really annoying. <laughs> He's like really hard to dodge. Okay, this can easily sub hour. We have 18 minutes to get two items in Tin Tower and beat Red. That's all we have left. We have 14 badges right now. Oh, we have plenty of repels. Okay, we need less than I thought. Is this the fastest way to get to this item? I think it is. Okay, this is heal the fool. I uh, use my candies. All right, did I forget an item? That, that looks like I forgot an item, but I can't read, so moving on. If I forgot an item, then I have to figure out what I forgot. No! I forgot the badge, dude. Unbelievable. All right, it's one of the Jodo badges. What did I forget, man? Oh, I know what I forgot. Okay. Could be worse. All right, we'll, we'll lose time here, but it's whatever. I was supposed to grab this earlier. All right, rip the sub 50. Yes, red leads in Omastar with Zap Cannon. Okay, that time we have all the badges. All right, whole run leads up to this moment. Here we go. This is not a free fight, by the way. One, two, three, five. I need to make sure I'm not faster than the Omastar until I'm ready. Defense, hello? X defend. I can't use the other one yet. If future sights, if you're faster, and you don't want to take two future sights, only one, because it actually hurts. That's not a crit. All right, this is a damage range to end the whole fight. If I miss it, I die. Nice. I think it's very favorable, but it is possible that you don't kill there. I missed my Tin Tower split. 52 minute Kihei the Rando. That's so fast. That's like absurdly fast. How good was the Blastoise? Three special, not great. Good attack. The attack was definitely good. Special is obviously the stat that matters the most, because it matters on red. Good speed, too. All right, let's go again. So there's two ways to save a lot of time in this. The first is the blissy thing, and the second is a good hidden power. If you get a hidden power that hits grass for either super effective or like a strong neutral hidden power, that's better than double kick. That's where like the time save is, I feel like. Hidden power is definitely the bigger time save. But Blissey would be a really interesting way to play. Like, get Blissey, skip the Hitmon. It'd be, like, really fast. And then we can skip in the Hitmon entirely because we get such a powerful pincer, it's good enough for the gym. Because you get five levels if you KO a Blissey. Good start. One encounter. I forgot I was supposed to repel earlier. I don't know what the right play is if you're in this position. Because you can't know what strat you're going to do. I feel like it's better to just not repel now with the second repel. Oh, I can still get the Blissey because it's level 5, so I can just repel. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I can just repel. Alright, Blissey's big. Blossom. I've not gotten this yet. I need Blissey or Jump Bluff. Those are the two. Okay. So we're doing Hitmon Route. Hitmon Route's a lot riskier, I feel like. I don't know, maybe it's better to just force the Blissey and run Pinsir. Okay, I can skip buying X Defense because we actually get one from Faulkner. So I only, I only need speed and special, I think. I'm gonna try and skip the Avail Azalea shop as well. Right, hopefully we have a better hit on this run that can actually Oko the Arcanine. How much damage would Rollout do to Arcanine? It's 30, so it'd be 60, 120. Double Edge is 120. So you'd kill with Rollout too. 
So there's two ways that you can go about this. If you click double edge and you hit both ranges, this is a two turn fight. If you click rollout and you hit all three rollouts, it's a three turn fight. If you do double edge and you miss both ranges, it's a four turn fight. So it's, a, it's a question of like how many turns you want this fight to be. So the consistent stride is to click rollout. Cause this will kill the war turtle I'm pretty confident with rollout three. I'm, I'm curious, I wanna try it. Does this kill? Yeah, so rollout three kills the war turtle. So that was a pretty okay fight. I don't know how many balls I have for the Snorlax catch. That's probably where this run's gonna die. I had to use a couple balls on the uh, Hitmon. No, on average two balls catches. That was not supposed to be roll out. That was supposed to be double edge. What's the second Mon here? I think it's weak to rock. Well, it's weak to everything. This is an unknown. All right, hope you guys are ready for the run killer. This is, I feel like where a majority of runs will die. Four chances, 33%. Oh, you're kidding me, man. Really? If you menu there, he hits you? At least it's only one poke, but it's still annoying. Please kill. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to reset a principal. Okay, well, you can't menu there, apparently. You have to menu at the Snorlax. At least now I know. Really stupid time loss. Not paying attention. Yeah, I want to try Hitmonless. I think it'd be interesting. I don't know how rare the Blissey is, though. If it's 10%, you're going to lose 80% of runs there. But then you don't have to catch the Hitmon. Oh, we can teach Fly to the Pinsir. That would deal with the Blossom. Because then we don't lose the run to getting paralyzed. All right, we need a Blissey. I don't know how rare it is. All right, need Blissey. I think it's 10%. Because, like, if we look at last run, you get the Hitmon at 516. So you need to get this within, like, three encounters for it to be better. Yeah, we've co-opted, uh, like, a sub 150. I don't know what our time was. I don't remember what our time was. I just remember we had a really fast run. If Raph wouldn't have fucked up on this one, we would have gotten, like, a 130. But Raph skipped the berry bush that had the badge in it and... We had to get every item in the game, even though he would have been done like way earlier. Always Raph's fault, by the way. Never mind. Always Raph. Never once been my fault before. Guys, it's provably never been my fault. You definitely can't go back and look up examples of where it was my fault. Also, why does everything on Route 1 have to be so bulky? Why couldn't the Blissey be on Route 1? If I KO'd these, it would take two turns and I would get like 60 experience max. The Blissey's gonna give me 500 experience. I'm not taking four encounters and still having half the route to go. I mean, to be fair, it's not like this is like a competitive category by any means. Two is acceptable. I think two is the average. Oh, I should also mention you get more experience from the Blissey if you're lower level. So that's why it's important that we stay like kind of low level. I feel like five encounters is like the reset point for this. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I hit left. I held it pretty long too. Honestly, it's not that big a deal. Like, this gets me my early game XP. As long as, like, everything here's a one hit. This might actually be faster on average than Blissey, depending on what the team is. Okay, this fight's not the best. Right, this is a Blissey I want reset. Also, we should probably call a category like this, like, Scouted Seed or something. Because it's a seed I had in advance, but I, like, I scouted it. Because there's a, there's a difference between, like, making a perfect seed or, like, scouting one that you got randomly. Because I randomly generated this seed, but I scouted the run. Because it's very different from, like, just making a seed that gives you perfect luck. I'm surprised I can save that much time over the, my first run's early game. I picked up the full heal last time, though. We've not gotten the Blissey since we started doing Blissey runs. Hey, there it is. All right, we're on a run. Finally. Assuming we kill it, of course. I don't know if that's a move. All right, if you're wondering why we needed Blissey, there you go. You're now level nine, or level eight and a half. Okay, so we save a minute, roughly, by skipping Hitmon. Or it's a bit more than a minute, I think, right? No, it's about a minute. The question is how much time do we lose by having to use a pincer instead of a Hitmon? And I think it's a lot. Like, we've already lost five to 10 seconds on the Hoot Hoot, because we can't echo that. 
We're gonna lose time here because this Blossom's gonna live. So you lose time on the Blossom. We lose time on the Deli Bird because I think that lives too. This isn't even a two shot, wow. There's a range. We're getting extra levels too. All this extra experience is losing time. They'll be curious to see how far ahead we are when we enter Azalea. At least we kill the Deli Bird, that's pretty helpful. The other issue is we're gonna run out of the Body Slam, so I have to pick up the Max Ether and use it. And that's also kind of slow. Actually, it's probably faster to take the center than it is to use the Max Ether. God, I'm paralyzing everything too. It loses a lot of time. Oh, you're kidding. Well played, opponent. Paralyze and Sand. Like, what a combo. That's fake gold. That's because I split at a different time. I mean, we're still ahead of Hitmon runs. This is also the first encounter, Blissey. So if you get like a fourth encounter, Blissey, you're not even that far ahead. The other, other, other thing is we have one less Pokemon for catching the Blastoise later. We're only gonna have two instead of three. So we're significantly less likely to catch the Blastoise. There are some benefits though. The first benefit is we don't have to use our escape rope. So we can skip shopping here. That's actually a pretty big time save because we have the rope for this. This also might make the red fight a little scarier, having one less Pokemon. Oh my god, we learned Slam at 13. Maybe a good YOLO play, honestly. Excuse me! I hate crystal movement, it's like such a pain. Yeah, this is definitely on sub 50 pace, Silgillian. I think this seed could get like a 45, probably. I don't actually know, though. Yeah, this is the best seed I've ever seen. I haven't seen anything close to this good. All right, biggest reset point of the run, here we go. I've never bought Pokeballs. <laughs> this route doesn't ever go to a Martha's Balls. <laughs> okay, I have to remember to buy those in Goldenrod, I guess? I think Goldenrod sells. That was a good reaction. I'm glad I thought of that. All right, first ball magic with an Ultra Ball. Definitely better than the Pokeball. Okay, whatever. Time loss, but I got lucky, so it made up for it. Yeah, Minipped. Thank you. That's definitely what it was. I want to try to do this run without getting any of the rare candies as well. Because it's actually a little bit slow to get the candies. We lose like a minute getting them. And I have a feeling a plus six Blastoise still locos everything on red. Oh, dude, we got a good hidden power. But its power sucks. <laughs> it's like 30 power. <laughs> it's shit power. We got grass or electric. Oh, and we crit the Mew. Holy crap, that's a good fight. All right, this would be a gold split for sure. Unless I'm an idiot and hold left here. Nice. If you get HP Grass with like 70 power, it saves three minutes. Cause you can you can just one turn the Omastar on red and then step on the second. You do have to dodge a Zap Cannon though to do that because you, you would get killed by Zap Cannon otherwise. Right, that was a really good segment. That I don't think can go better. I think you fly Vermillion here? Is it Vermillion? What? Wait, why do I come here? Holy shit. Oh my god. I don't, I don't remember what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. That only lost a couple seconds. I remember now. I was like, I come here for a reason, but I literally couldn't think of any reason. Oh, I need to check if it's Grass or Electric. That would be a bad time to check it. And of course I get Endured again. I've gotten Endured both runs. I just need to find a Rock type, like a pure Rock, not a Rock Crown. Here we go. Okay, it's Grass. So that's where you check hidden power. You check on the Gyarados and Bugsy's gym. So I got, I got HP grass. It's just not strong enough. It's like really weak. Like if it can't Oko a level 30 Azumarill, it's not gonna Oko level 81 Amistar. Ooh, I should regular repel here. That's a bit of an awkward thing that I just did. Cause I wanna teach waterfall in the Thunderbolt menu, but this repel is gonna last me until the waterfall in Mount Mortar. So I'm gonna have to just menu an extra time. Is that just slower? That doesn't make sense. I skipped something by accident. Or I split wrong for rival one, or on the last run. I skipped shopping. Shopping isn't that much time though. You're dangerously low on surfs. This is, this is the last battle in the game though, other than red. Okay, I still saved time overall, but not as much as I thought. Please run out, please run out, please run out. End, I need you to end. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, that's good. I, I roar out the repel a bit. Let's go. Strats. Now it's definitely gonna run out for sure. It definitely wasn't going to, but now it will. Please? Yes! Okay, it would actually end. Good to know. Bolt and waterfall. 
It's good to know that the Repel actually will wear out, even if I don't mess up the movement. I think next round I'm gonna buy eight Repels, I'm not gonna sell the iron. All right, we have 10 minutes to beat the game, less than 10 minutes now. I also like how we have to go to Tin Tower, we get to listen to the music as like the ending of the run. Talk about Mount Silver, please. Good. Okay, <laughs> I got like randomly lost there. Very cool, very cool. Alright, here we go. Another chance at red. Dodge it! Rip. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Run's probably over. Why'd he switch, dude? Why'd he switch? What? Dude, that's so bad. I might be dead. Fuck. Uh, defend, I guess? I guess might be okay. One. We're cutting this real close. Unlucky. Dude, Red outplayed me. He knew I was trying to solve his app cannons. That sucks. I knew Red would be a reset point. It happens. I knew Red was gonna be a, a pain in these. Oh, back on the Blissey grind. <laughs> Pretty much a perfect bike split. Nice extra step in the grass. Good RNG minute. Nice, one encounter. Really good start. That gives me extra time to get Blissey. I really wanna not repel. Like it's so much faster to skip the repel here. All right, this is pretty much a perfect start. I just need to get a Blissey. It's 10%. Unfortunate. This is still worth KOing because it gives enough XP. But I still need the Blissey. Like, I, I can't get by with just the jump bluff. Unfortunate. Uh, this is probably last chance. Oh, okay, nice. Not a dead run. Just not a fast run. Should be level 10, which might be helpful. No, not quite. This is a range probably at nine. I'm gonna ice punch. I forgot to teach fly. I forgot fly is part of the strats. I need to teach that. Yeah, we, we need fly for this blossom. It actually saves a turn on the Kakuna, and it skips us having to heal. So Fly doesn't kill the Blossom, that's good to know. Also, I'm female, Pinsir. I should have reset this run. I didn't realize I was female. It's already cost me quite a bit. Okay, at least skip centering this time, which is fast. Uh, teach this over Mind Reader, I guess. I need this for this War Turtle, because otherwise I'm not killing it with Body Slam. I need regular Slam. <laughs> I think I go with Body Slam now. <laughs> I needed regular slam. That's the only time in the run I click it. It's just I needed it to save a turn. I didn't buy Pokeballs again. Okay, I realized this time though. I'm used to the old route where I didn't. I can only afford two, I think though. Because I have to buy Ultra Balls now. We might not make it to red. We're statistically more likely to lose the run in like 20 seconds than to red. We haven't lost a run yet to Snorlax. We deserve to lose one. Let's grab them real quick. This is like a five second time loss. If Ultra Balls were better at catching, we'd actually get those there, but they aren't. One in three per ball, we get two chances. Last chance. Ooh, not dead. Nice. What's a good time to check hidden power? Wait. Brain? <laughs> How do you do Lighthouse? Brain? Focus on what's at hand. Th worry about the hidden power later. When I get to Azalea, I can check on the Growlithe, and I can check on the... The thing that comes out after the Growlithe, I forget what it is. Right, this run's still ahead at Zephyr Badge, that's good. Okay, here's where you can check Hidden Power. So optimally, it's not very effective against this Growlithe. That's best case scenario. Okay, hold on. That is Bug, Fire, Grass. Ah, it's Fire. Oh my God, it's Fire with no strength. It endures every time, man. Stop! Stop, dude! Just let me kill you, man. Four in a row? Please, dude, just relax. <laughs> just, like, just hit the thing. The movement here matters a lot, starting here. Because you need this repel to last through the cleanup section. So apparently this repel does run out. Like, it matters so little, but, like, four seconds is four seconds. And if this repel runs out in time, you save four seconds. Because you don't have to menu twice. You can do everything in one. It runs out before the waterfall. Yeah, <laughs> that close. Yeah, this repel always makes it here too. 
God, I hate that dodge. That trainer's like gonna kill so many runs, I swear. All right, we get another attempt at red. Let's see how it goes. Unless I mess something up, of course. Always a possibility. Okay, did not mess anything up. Doing red on one hyper potion, here we go. <laughs> it's so funny. I actually don't even think we need the hyper potion is what's hilarious about this red fight. Talent check, here we go. Oh no, oh no. That talent check wasn't that bad. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. Alrighty. Time for dodging. Zero. Out. One. I can't use the other one yet because I can't outspeed. One. Five. It went for it. Six. Uh, I might die, unfortunately. I can't use the other speed, because if I use the other speed, this thing's gonna future state me. I don't think this thing okos me. 29 down to 39. I have revives. No healing. Oh boy, do I outspeed the Typhlosion? That's the whole question here. I'm 2x speed. I have 204. I think it's level 73 Typhlosion. I feel like it has a roughly 200 speed. I think it's the 73, not 77. Okay, we're faster. Nice. It is the 77. Nice, we're faster. It's easy. Nice. Sub 50. Actually, sub 49. That's a 48. Pretty fast. Nice. 48.25 for in-game. That was not bad. That was a pretty solid run. How good was the Blastoise? <laughs> That's something. Dude, one attack, pincer, and then that Blastoise. Dude, my pincer had zero special too. What a run. How are my two mains that bad, man? At least my Dodrio was good, right? So it's good to know that that's a run with a bad Blastoise. Like that was not a good Blastoise. I got a 48. Hope you guys enjoyed the meme run. I'm, uh, I'm probably gonna do this again. Maybe, I don't actually know. But this is a pretty fun run. It's fun having like a really fast TNM random. And there's not like a ton of RNG, which is like really cool. And yeah, pretty much all I got to say.